Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to morning prayer. This is Palm Sunday, the first day of the Passion Week of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our morning prayer today begins on page 368. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. Christ the Lord endured the sacred passion for our sake. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with sounds. For Yahweh is a great God, a great king over all other gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the mightiest mountains as well. The sea belongs to him, for he made it. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture. The flock under his care. O oh, that today you would listen to Yahweh's voice. Harden not your hearts as Israel did at Meribah, as they did at Massa in the wilderness. For there your ancestors tested and tried my patience, even though they saw everything I did. For forty years I was angry with them, and I said, There are a people whose hearts turn away from me. They refuse to do what I tell them. So I swore my anger. They will never enter my place of rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now it will be forever. Amen. Christ the Lord endured his sacred passion for our sake. O oh, come, let us adore him. The night is past, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, in your tender love for the human race, you sent your Son to take upon himself our nature and to suffer death upon the cross, giving us the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may walk in the way of his suffering and so come to share in his resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Right on, right on in majesty, hark all the tribes, Hosanna cry. O Savior meek, pursue your road, with palms and scattered garments strode. Right on, right on in majesty, in lowly pomp right on to die. O Christ, our, your triumphs now begin, or captive death and conquered sin. Right on, right on in majesty, the winged squadrons of the sky look down with sad and wondering eyes to see the approaching sacrifice. Right on, right on in majesty, your last and fiercest strife is nigh. The father on his sapphire throne expects his own anointed son. Right on, right on in majesty, in lowly pomp right on to die. Bow your meek head to mortal pain and take, O God, your power and reign. Yahweh, my God, is my help. No shame can harm me. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to him. For he laid the foundations of the seas and built it on the ocean depths. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? Only those whose hands and hearts are pure, who do not worship idols and never tell lies. They will receive the Lord's blessing and have a right relationship with God their Savior. Such people may seek you and worship in your presence, O God of Jacob. Open up ancient gates, open up ancient doors, and let the King of glory enter. Who is the King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord invincible in battle, 
Open up ancient gates, open up ancient doors, and let the King of glory enter. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Yahweh, my God, is my help. No shame can harm me. O come, let us return to the Lord. He has torn us to pieces. Now he will heal us. He has injured us. Now he will bandage our wounds. In just a short time, he will restore us so that we may live in his presence. Oh, that he might know Yahweh. Let us press on to know him. He will respond to us as surely as the arrival of dawn or the coming of rains in the early spring. O Israel and Judah, what should I do with you? asked the Lord. For I, your love vanishes like the morning mist and disappears like dew in the sunset light. I sent my prophets to cut you to pieces, to slaughter you with my words, with judgments as inescapable as light. I want you to show love, not offer sacrifices. I want you to know me more than I want burnt offerings. Yahweh, my God is my help. No shame can harm me. The Lord is king, let the nations tremble. He sits on his throne between the cherubim. Let the whole earth quake. The Lord sits in majesty in Jerusalem, exalted above all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Your name is holy. Mighty king, lover of justice, you have established fairness. You have acted with justice and righteousness throughout Israel. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow low before his feet, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also called on his name. They cried to the Lord for help, and he answered them. He spoke to Israel from the pillar of cloud, and they followed the laws and decrees he gave them. O Lord, our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but you punished them when they went wrong. Exalt the Lord your God and worship in his holy mountain in Jerusalem, for the Lord our God is holy. Yahweh, my God, is my help. No shame can harm me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now it will be forever. Amen. Our reading this morning is from the Old Testament book of Zechariah. Rejoice, O people of Zion. Shout in triumph, O people of Jerusalem. Look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious. Yet he is humble, riding on a donkey, riding on a donkey's colt. Behold, your king is coming to you. Humble is he and mounted on the beast of burden. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies and from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, as now it will be forever. Amen. God of mercy, 
We praise you for this day in which you raised Jesus from the depths of the earth when his time of suffering was ended. With your love deep in our hearts, we exalt in you today. For the goodness and beauty of our world, we give you thanks, Lord God. For the ways you lead and guide the church, we give you thanks, Lord God. For the invitation you extend to all peoples to new life in your Son, we give you thanks, Lord God. And for the gift of the Spirit through which you lead us to fullness of life, we give you thanks, Lord God. As we enter into this solemn and holy week, we do so with the sense of both celebration and expectation. We await the day when the fullness of the mystery we celebrate this week is manifest plainly for all time. Until that day, obedient to your desire for us, we offer you our prayers. For the grace to cherish the work of your hands, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For our unity of faith to reign among Christians everywhere, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For answers of faith when you call your children to priestly and religious vocations, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For freedom, shelter, and peace to be manifest in the lives of those who are oppressed, <clears throat> hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For the gift of eternal life to be our inheritance and the inheritance of all who have called on Christ with faith. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. In the power of the Spirit, we also lift before you the needs and intentions that are close to our hearts. Father, we pray for all churches today as they celebrate your passion, your entrance into Jerusalem, riding on a donkey, O oh Lord, may we see you as our Savior, as our King. And may your humility and love be our guide in our life. Bless those that are shut in this day and help them, O oh Lord. Help them not feel a sense of loss, but help them know your presence. Be with us each day, O oh Lord of prayer during this week of your holy passion. May we draw close to you and enter into your sufferings in our own life. With confidence, we lift all of our needs before the Father, uniting them with the perfect prayer that our Savior has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, for whom all things are possible, you have highly exalted your suffering servant, who did not hide from insult, <clears throat> but humbled himself even to death upon a cross. As we begin to journey of Holy Week, shatter sin's power through the mysteries we celebrate and confirm our witness in power so that when we proclaim the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to your glory and honor through all eternity. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld His glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. 
May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways, and our day in his peace. May souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. My friends, my brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you for being here today for prayer. I pray the Lord blesses your Palm Sunday celebration. And as you enter into this Passion Week with Christ our Lord, always follow him. Let him lead, let him guide, all the way to Good Friday, where he gives himself on the cross. And may you pick up your cross daily and follow him. May we bless the Lord this day and be a blessing to one another. Amen.